looks like Jamal Simmons. All right. Jamal Simmons, the new uh, Kamala Harris staffer who posted about ICE picking up people on MSNBC. Yeah. So, you know, it, it seems like Kamala Harris, you know, it seems like there is no one in in D.C. that wants to work for Kamala Harris. And it almost seems at this point like she has to hire like Thanks, conservatives. You know what I mean? Like yeah. at this point, like I don't really know this guy that well. I just saw the posts that everyone's upset about. But um I guess he has tweets that said, just saw two undocumented folks talking on MSNBC, one law student, the other professor. Can someone explain why ICE is not picking them up? And this is the person who's working for our historic uh, first, you know, female, first woman of color vice president, uh, yeah. the new hire. Let's see. As as Jack said, three tweets resurfaced in which uh, Simmons asked, can someone explain why ICE is not picking them up after seeing an undocumented lawyer? <laughs> and undocumented protesters speaking on MSNBC. He then responded to another Twitter user saying he was not suggesting I should pick them up. Just seems odd. You can go on TV and admit breaking law and not be arrested. Mm, so yeah, it was a no, point I agree. Of information. He wasn't encouraging ICE. To pick why? Them up. Why didn't confused. ICE repel into the MSNBC studio yeah, and, and hold up these uh, law students at gunpoint and arrest them? Yeah, <laughs> that's the America I know. It kind of is actually the America I know. Simmons later attempted to brush off the criticism about his remarks, tweeting. For the record, I've never advocated for nor believed that dreamers should be targeted by ICE agents. I've been for DACA and comprehensive immigration reform for years. Frankly, it's depressing people can forget about every other thing I've said in public on this because of bad tweets. In a statement to CNN, Simmons said, sometimes I have been sarcastic, unclear, or just plainly missed the mark. I sincerely apologize for offending those who care as much as I do about making America the best multi-ethnic diverse democracy it can be. <laughs> this is great. He also wrote that the CIA's use of waterboarding was acceptable to quote unquote protect the nation, even if it quote may have been illegal End quote. More recently in 2020, he wrote intent motive matter. GW Bush let CIA waterboard people. And even though we didn't, we didn't like it and may have been illegal, he was not impeached because he was doing it to protect the nation. If Bush mm. waterboarded people to get someone to pay to buy his Texas ranch, that would be different. Oh that's my the, yeah, God. That's true, that's true. And then he, that is true. That's a very good point. It would be yeah. very different. It would be that. different but, if, yeah. if he, if he was just sort of torturing people individually to, uh, yeah. for real estate right. uh, negotiations. Real estate. Yeah, that's a game changer. And then he wrote in 2009, went to a settlement outside of Tel Aviv. Amazing how mixed in Jewish and Arab towns are. And then Israeli settlements have been widely condemned in the years since as impinging on Palestinian sovereignty, including by then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton in 2017. Not exactly wow. a friend of Palestinians or a critic of Israel. OK, yeah, So this guy is awful. But to be fair, I mean, he's working for a woman who did tell people from Guatemala do not come. Yeah, so he's kind yeah. of on brand. You know, I, for me, what I, I think it reflects is that, like, there is like they are down to the there's no one that wants to work for Kamala Harris. Yes, yeah. There is nobody that wants to work for Kamala Harris. And so they're down to people who were like tweeting at MSNBC to a to uh, to fucking arrest their guests and shit like that. So I don't know. You know, um, all I can say is best of luck to Simone Sanders and her future endeavors. Yeah, seriously. I mean, maybe it, it'll be fun to watch. uh Jamal Simmons pretend that um, uh, Kamala Harris can't hear Charlemagne the God. Hopefully, he'll do as good of a job uh, of that as uh, as someone Sanders did. What um, a fucking okay. shame it is that Charlemagne the God, who I sucks. Know. Is like is speaking truth to power more than like any actual journalist, you know, yeah. Charlemagne the God is neolib and annoying and sucks in a lot of ways. But that he's the one asking that question is just I know uh, an indictment.